swing full week in nasdaq 100 it has achieved lower lows and higher highs now what to expect next week as it is going to be an important week when the fed is going to announce the interest rate decision midweek and most importantly the forward looking guidance for q1 q2 q3 q4 is something which the traders will be watching keenly so which position you should take in order to profit we will see with the help of charts and indicate do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon and keep yourself updated with the twice a day analysis and targets which i share for nasdaq 100 once with the asia session next with the us session every day so do watch it also definitely it will help you in your day trading decisions now let's have a look at uh, in this analysis first we we'll look into candlestick charts alone followed with indicators and towards the end i will give you the trading levels and a strategy for next week do watch till the end now look at the charts here see the bottom is formed on the weekly charts here and then i had asked you that it is a reversal and also it has breached its long term bearish channel in which it was trading since long and now it is trying to look upwards that is the first part on the weekly chart second at this point also i told you that there is a reversal in the beginning of this year 2023 and when i warned you of the reversal see precisely it has shown a good rally and achieved 13000 levels now what has happened since see after achieving this rally nasdaq 100 has given you lower highs lower lows and precisely formed this flag now i'll wait for it to give you your breakout and a breakout means once it breaks past 12800 13000 levels expect that it is going to give you a very strong bullish move if it continues to do it on the upside then we can expect that we might see 13500 and 14000 levels also so i'll wait for a breakout yes this is a flag formation and a breakout is awaited so next week if you see it trading specifically about 12800 yes go long and then 12900 so these levels you can see good resistance is here and certainly trading about 12800 is something i will look forward to staying about 12800 stay long and then you can expect that it is going to fly high we might see 13000 13500 levels again and this is going to happen in a very rapid pace so this is just on the weekly charts now let's also have a look at the daily now see on the daily charts i have already warned you that see this is already giving you a breakout and this is going to stay long and that is what has happened and at this point itself when i told you that the bottom is formed it is looking forward to reversal in my daily analysis i had warned you of this several times and see that is the beauty of the breakout it is still trading bullish now i'll wait for it to give you a breakout about 12800 that is the level above which only we can consider that this is a confirmation this is a sign that it is trying to trade bullish and we may see it trading high from here so the next level is something which i will watch out for specifically next week if you see it trading about 12660 that is my next resistance level and then beyond that 12800 if these two are levels are taken certainly stay long close your eyes stay long in nasdaq 100 13000 is a must and beyond that further bullishness is going to prevail here now also if you look at the daily charts see the bottom was here since then it has formed double bottom here too and since then it is trying to trade bullish and if you look at so the highs are a little far away i will wait for it to break past till the time we have to be watchful and cautious now certainly remember see the triple bottom here since then the nasdaq 100 is the only index which has gained quite a little and it is just trading sideways and since then see 10 800 and 10 500 levels achieving uh, getting achieved in 2022 and since then see it is it has gained very much compared to all other indices throughout this group. So there is, is a probability of a uh, rise. There is a probability of a rally. Just let it stay above 13,000 this time. More bullishness can be observed. Now look at the monthly chart. See on the monthly charts, first part is lower highs, lower lows. And the f second part is the previous four candles. The previous four candles were of consolidation. Four candles in a row. Higher lows were seen. Flat bottom were seen. This time it has tried to break out and see it is also give, gave you lower lows now if you com consider the complete movement of the previous candle it has almost formed a parallel here the previous candle was a pullback candle and see it is trying to trade bullish i do expect that we may see a probably stronger bullish candle the previous candle was almost thousand points and this time if you count thousand points from here 11 900 12 000, or 12 900 13 000 levels can be expected here too and then from there it may try to lift the positions again now if you look at the formation here see bottom here consolidation breakout and hence even if not double top it may try to rise at least a little even if it has to drop later half of the year or maybe 
soon it can try to retrace a little on the upside or there has to be a rise so right now it appears one can stay long in nasdaq 100 my expectation 13000 levels once it breaches there could be certain more bullishness but uh, then uh, only and only if it stays above 13000 we can see it flying high and we can expect that 13400 500 is the next target 14000 is the next target and specifically this is the level here it has to break beyond that we'll see what happens but right now it is looking forward to for a slight rise not a complete bullishness but slight rise that is what i can expect now let's have a look with the help of indicator indicators here see on the month daily charts it is a buy signal here on the super trend and uh, the support there is far below at 11800 yes it is trading outside bollinger band certainly we may see the width expanding also see it it was narrowed here now it is trying to expand and we may see further bullish candles there see the stock elastic is overbought and hence we have to be watchful here see stock elastic consistently trading overbought it has to cool down a bit and hence if it drops a little do not worry it is just a retracement now look at the MACD this is still divergent it's still bullish it is still looking upwards and those who follow me regularly see this is what we have drawn several several times in the recent past I told you it is this is the bottom here and it may try to reverse from here precisely it is reversing and now looking upwards it may bring bullishness in the near future RSI uh, looking down after achieving a high here now look at the weekly charts on the weekly charts you can see this the MACD is trying to converge 20 50 100 period moving averages and if you look at it is trying to look upwards showing strength right now also uh, the position is on the top half of the Bollinger Bands which is a bullish indication though the super trend has not yet generated a bullish signal on the weekly charts it is still bearish with the stop loss at 13,000 see the stock elastic has seen a good drop trying to recover and if you see this third bottom is there and it is still trying to trade bullish the MACD is in green trading with slight divergence and may again diverge and continue with the achieving the highs there RSI trying to look upwards and show a little strength there now look at the monthly chart on the monthly charts right now the moving average are curving down but uh, see after the reversal how far it stretches that will decide the further course of action right now it is well below the 20 months average at around 12,500 and uh, simple moving average at around 13,500 levels now see the stock elastic on the monthly charts is seen rising it is looking upwards the MACD interestingly the MACD after falling to zero levels after this is happening after a long long time almost of the financial crisis of 2008 this is happening for the first time but now see it is it has started to converge and if you couple this observation for what you have seen on the candles probably once it crosses over we may see it trading bullish for a little while the rsi is looking up to indicating slight bullishness which we can expect in the near future so this is on the charts and indicate and we have seen the charts we've seen the indicators time for me to define the trading strategy and levels for you so that you can make profit and yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably you should join my mentorship where the 20th batch starts on 28th of march reserve your seats now itself couple of seats are left as the next batch is going to be after uh end of in the end of april itself so reserve your seats reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description now see as as you've seen 12660 is a good resistance first let's talk about yes it has tried to reverse we have seen higher highs higher lows lower lows in the previous week and now we'll wait for a breakout to happen so now first let's talk about the levels to buy i will recommend you to buy here at 12550 itself rather 12560 here you can buy expect 12660 levels and then 12720 if these two are taken directly it will lend to 12800 this is the next resistance level and you have to wait for 12800 levels to breach then 12900 these two levels once it breaches stay long in nasdaq 100 stay long in nasdaq 100 you can hold the positions soon we will see it hitting see though 13400 and 500 is the next target the nearest resistance in between this 12 uh, 13000 and then 13200 in between these these milestones will come but i will directly expect it to land at 13400 500 so once it breaks past 12900 stay long in the nasdaq 100 we can see further bullishness and it may try to fly high till towards 13400 500 levels and beyond that sky is the limit but if this is going to happen this month or not that is something you should wait for 
and if it happens this month this good else you can keep holding the position for this month it is uh, for the fed at least with the fed it can try to bring you good swings but on the downside 11800 certainly is a very very good support for nasdaq 100 as of now it try to break it one time it try to break it once but fail to break fail to sustain it went till towards 11700 and then bounce back strongly now on the downside where to sell yes you can sell here at 12440 levels then 12350 now 3 12350 12400 were the stronger support zones i have told you now resistance zone now it is going to be the support levels and 12300 if these levels are taken then you can consider that nasdaq 100 may see further bearishness 12200 and 12000 levels and below this it will directly lend to 11800 but then this is going to be a very very strong support level even if it tries to drop there could be a sharp rebound later and hence you have to be watchful and careful with the trading here because that the candle is still showing signs of bullishness as per the candles hence we may see a bounce back even if it tries to drop so take your trades accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the tailing stop loss be cautious of 12300 400 zone on the downside be cautious of the 12800 900 zone on the upside above and below you can consider that we may see a clear cut direction where you can at least get 300 400 points take your trades according trade with the stop loss trade with the tailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead trading week ahead thank you